loading. Bring for combat. Of course you picked this map. Let's get to shooting. <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't paying attention to it. <laughs> well, good news is I don't think I've ever started on the side, so that's kinda cool. It's new it's new terrain over here for me. You can see we got buildings over here that you can run over and they burst in the flame. Now, what they need, of course, is the fuel tanks that you can shoot and blow up. That would be nice, like you can do in Mech Commander. That would be a nice feature. Yeah. Position confirmed. Got it. Order acknowledged. There. Okay. What is wrong with this map? You can set buildings on fire, but not the forest. No, you can't actually set the buildings on fire. You run over them and they burst into fire. But it's just like it's just a visual thing. It doesn't actually do anything. Like they don't block shots. And they don't make your mechs get any hotter if you stand on them while they're burning. It's just all visual. Yes. What? I was just talking to my pilot. Oh, okay. Like, oh, I guess I'll go over there. <laughs> I wish we could hear what the what each other's pilots were saying, or at least get bits and pieces of it, so that we know what's going. You know, I I don't I don't know how that would work, but I think that would be funny. Hear what the other I pilots think, are saying. Hey. I think that'd be good too, because they're not giving away uh, uh, your location or anything. Right. Waiting for orders. Right. But just kind of like a radio chatter type deal. Yeah. That would be cool. Standing by. Because it's not like we don't know we're facing four max. Heading out. Can't remember your phone. They can email it to you, Fotec. Or email a reset. I think I had to do that too. <laughs> when I first installed it. Shit talking would be nice too. Have 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 the actual pilots banter up against each other from up from opposite teams. That would be cool. It's all fluff, but it's good fluff. Light is where he started. We're just positioning until we get each other into a sensor range. What now? Copy. I'm here. Yeah. Gotta move to an area. Cover and the only one I wasn't going to click on was the only one not covered. Confirmed. Not covered. Fluff is important. Fluff gives uh, perspective. Makes games more interesting. And this stuff here on the ground, these crystals, they give, they make it harder for you to be hit and to hit. In the previous version of the game, it made it so that energy weapons fired from within these crystal fields did more damage but you also took more damage from energy weapons while standing in the fields. I'm not sure which one I like better.
There we go. We got to send us chase. <laughs> so the last time I was on this map, I found this for the first time. I'd never been over on this side of the map before. There's this little fort, city, whatever you want to call it. I'd never seen it before. Because I'd never been on the side of the map. So, it's kind of cool. Can you destroy all the stuff? I'm sure you can. I didn't have an opportunity to. I was too busy fighting at the time. Scott, a center trace. There we go. What do you need? Copy that. And I brought the wrong damn pilot. <laughs> I brought the wrong damn pilot. Oh well. You still might win. Yeah. No, no sensor lock on the friggin' light. That's brilliant. How'd you update? You can't find an option for it, and the only thread I found about it was one year old saying it was still planned. Can you jump jet up there? You don't need to jump jet, there's a road <laughs> that goes right up there. But yes, you can. You can jump from down here to up there. As long as you, yeah, you can definitely do that. But there's no need to with the road. How did I update my password? How did I do that? Wasn't there a... In the forums, right? It's the forums is where the account is. I think you can reset your password from there. I thought you could. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. I reset passwords all the time, so I forget what sites actually do it and don't do it anymore. Ready for orders. I'm receiving you. Yeah, sensor locks on the wrong fucking person. Commander? I'm so smart. Receiving you. I am so smart. Position confirmed. But I th you should be able to request a password reset from the forums, and I think that's the, the same account. Man, I didn't move. Uh, this is this is an awesome match. Doing all the right things here. Okay, so he's got the Centurion and the Orion again. So I'm guessing he brought pretty much the same lance. It's going to be my guess. So there's a Commando and a Hunchy 4G running around more than likely. There goes the Sensor Lock. Oh, so the Sensor Lock's on the Centurion this time. Yes, Commander. Coordinates received. Uh. So oh, I can see a Centurion, Orion. Hunchy's oh, probably flanking us. Or not. Moved the hunchy, right? Yeah, I did. Did you? Now oh, there it goes. Oof. <laughs> Come yeah, on. We're good. Bam, we're good. again. Wow, this 
Shadowhawk doesn't jump worth a damn. Jump and break a leg. Uh huh. Going as fast as I can. There he is. So his, he tries to shoot him, he's got a plus four difficulty to hit. So that and that's on top of, I think, that. Yeah, he's got three evasive charges, plus six, and the field is another plus four. So he should have a really tough time hitting that Shadowhawk, even though he's sensor locked. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Yeah, well, let's have some fun. What's the odds to hit with the LRMs? Oh. Wow, not good. They're shooting at me! So the, the 10 missed, and most of the LRMs missed, so that's not bad. That's a really good defensive spot. We know something new on the map. Yep. Confirm. Closer. If that's good or bad. Never ran into a suicidal, uh, suicidal commando before. And thank you for hurt, helping him out with that hurricane. Large laser commando. Yeah, I bet you need more time to simulate. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Tell me how her uh, carpet hanging project was going. Receiving you. I'm here. I was hoping it wasn't a bug. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know. It's it's scary. I can't see anything from here. Oh, this is a shadow hawk. <sighs> okay. Let's go. Hey, Vector. Welcome back. Now we can see the commando. Not a good chance to hit much of anything, so... Ah, yeah, screw it. It's only heat. There we go. I think it's hits. A lot, but some hits. Got away with stuff there. Oh, it's because you're a face of little bugger, and that's why. Silly commando? Well, as you can see, he's got still, you know, those three ticks. That's plus six to his defense there. Shadowhawk's got two. Ow, ow, ow. I just 
have to realize. I'm sitting on a fusion reactor. <laughs> she just realized she's sitting on a fusion reactor. Standing by. Acknowledged. Copy that, Commander. Wow, still hit though. That is a 45% chance to hit with that large laser. You're getting lucky today. Yep. Get a little bit of luck. Except for the part where the game that I was actually probably going to win <laughs> locked up on us. I mean, other than that, I mean, if you consider that lucky. Sitting on the fusion reactor explains the temperature in the cockpit. Yeah, you would think so. to shoot. And the Shadowhawk again. It's going to probably hurt for real this time. Eh, yeah, that hurt. Got to remember everything on the Shadowhawk is flipped as far as his sides to shoot at. Yep. Incoming message. Jay, thank you for the follow. I suspect that might be yeah, it's a, it's a ghost follower. Roger. Suicidal fire starter. Apparently. Wow, that didn't do squat for heat. No. That didn't do squat for heat. No. <laughs> <sighs> that was like 85% hit chance to hit with everything, too. Apparently, two flamers missed. Or at least one of them did. I got robbed. So I'm not so lucky. <laughs> bye bye, fire starter. <laughs> nice knowing ya. <laughs> Actor Phil, thank you for the follow. Are you actually here? Doesn't look like it. Nope. Oh. Yeah, eh, she's not a very good shot. Thank you. Appreciate you it. You are welcome. <laughs> now, please stop talking to me. Receiving you. It is kind of creepy. Right here. I need my commando. 
You need your commando? I'm hiding my commando. You think so? I mean, he's got a pretty good chance of not getting hit here, but he's not hiding. Not very well. Better pick on the low guy. Have to. There. Engaging multiple enemies. Not a very good chance to hit on the commando, so that's why he's still alive. The five and the LRMs weren't going to hit him. Starter is kind of big, isn't he? Really? Seriously? Look at all the evasion ticks. That's Yo, what that's what's saving him. It's point blank. I know. <laughs> Trust me. I that don't. doesn't that doesn't make any sense. I learned this from playing, I think, Tarkus the other night. I think it was Tarkus that was doing this stuff to me. He was running around with a bunch of jump jets and he was basically just jump jetting right on top of me and getting this big evasive bonus and I couldn't hit him. <laughs> and it, it, I mean, yeah, it loses the next turn, but that first, you know, that first move in there is very effective. So it's, it's not a horrible tactic. I don't think. No. I mean, if the fire starter can make it through this round, it, it obviously worked. It was you, Target. So that's what I thought it was. Trebuchets are a scary light or medium uh, LRM boat in this game. A lot of alarms on them. Not a lot of ammo, but a lot of alarms. See ya, Davian. Thank you for watching. Good games? Well, I don't know about that one. <laughs> but thank you. You are welcome. Eternal structure Go damage. Something. Oh, that was a precision strike. Oh, for the laser. The mist? Wasn't very precision, eh? It wasn't precision. No, that was not precision. Waiting for orders. Just too uh, evasive down there. Confirmed. But I'll take that. Oh. I'll take that. <laughs> nice hurricane sandwich turned into a brownie. Targus, how many matches do you have lined up today? Um, so far, it's just hobo.
So if you want in, uh, say so. We'll see how long this game lasts if we ever finish one. Hey! He's still evasive, what the hell? Not fair. That shot went internal. Ow. Yep. Lost a flamer, machine guns. How did I lose both machine guns? Both in the same torso? Or is it lose the ammo? Probably the ammo. Ammo. this goes better. Confirmed. Spike him, spike him. Oh. Did they tweak the flamers and not tell me? <laughs> yes, Tarkus, that's correct. Because that didn't... St I mean, that was three flamers there. I could have sworn it was worse than that before. Still gonna be picking on my poor little fire starter. Yep. That's what you get for trying to pick on my fire starter. Oh shit, base of gone. Damn it. Oh well. Standing by. Yes, Commander. But you've been getting pretty good on your odds. Yeah, I know. Hey, I'm shooting through the Hunchy to hit the Centurion. <laughs> oh, we knocked him down. Yay. And he lost a leg. Who's winning? Uh, nobody at the moment. No, but no mechs have died yet, so it's, you can't really say who's winning or losing. Because I'm going to probably lose my fire starter fairly quickly here. And his commandos beat up, his centurions beat up, but not dead yet. Ow. That hurt. Armor breach. Internal damage. See, like I said, fire starter is going to go bye bye here in a second. Oh, damn it. Oh, that. Oh, hit me in the feet. <laughs> blocky ducks a lot. Ready for orders. Okay, Mr. Centurion is on the ground, right? I can't see him though for some reason. Oh, because my green fire starter is on the ground. Explain yes. that. Yes, Commander. It was the tactical play. <laughs> yes, definitely. That was very obvious. That, that was a tactical play. Oh, it's weird. Then this is where we run into sight issues, complaints here, because I can see your Hunchy and Orion, but your Commando and Centurion are red blips. They're not showing up, no matter where I move. These two back here, which is kind of messed up. That doesn't, doesn't make sense. Stealth armor. You. Stealth armor? Yes, that's it. Stealth armor. Stealth armor. Hey, look. I should. If I move over here, I should be able to see the Centurion, but I can't. Must be out of. Didn't Centurion? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Not a huge deal. He's under a rock ledge. Yes, that's it. He's laying down because, and even it makes it worse because the centurion's flat on his back. 
That's the worst part there. I could sensor lock him, but... Why would I do that when I have a clean shot at the... It's, oh, is it... Oh, the Orion's facing me. But the Hunchy isn't. Where is he? Oh, it's kind of a side shot there, that's why. Okay. It looks worse than it was. Force reduce you to sight range and the commando is blocked by that rock. Well, that's that's the centurion there. But he's not really blocked by the rock. That's the thing. He's on the ground. He's actually on his back. He's not on the rock. You're trying to tell me that they can't see him from there. That doesn't make sense. Even, and even, look, the Shadowhawk is over there. He should be able to see him. The sight lines are kind of messed up. My I'm receiving you. Confirmed. Prone mechs are harder to see. No, they're not. Don't don't be making excuses. <laughs> they're not harder to see. Oh, CT hit with the laser. Ryan's taking some little bit of abuse. Still got armor, but prior Hosh. Oh, poor Hosh! Why'd you guys do that to him? He didn't do anything wrong. It's it's funny that Hosh is beating up on himself. But... So doing too bad here. Limp away, Centurion. Limp away. Leave my fire starter alone. No, bad child. No. No, no, no. Let's see, it's Centurion. Let's see if the if the fire starter had been standing up. Uh oh. Go. Dead fire starter. So, Hobo gets first blood this game. Poor for little fire starter. Now his commando gets to move all by himself. Ryan is still moving. Ugh. Toasty. I don't know about toasty. Okay, you should not be able to see me. I just want to point that out. You should not be able to see me. Not with the Orion, at least. Command will be a different story. <laughs> Always read Toasty as the Mortal Kombat 2 voice sound thing. I don't even remember what that is. Hey, Dropkick. Welcome back. Mech should explode? No. No, no, no. No, that is wrong. They should not explode. <laughs> Jeff says, of course you won't be able to see me. I don't have a Twitch camera. Standing by. Oh, you center lock my shadow hawk. That's okay. Okay, firing everything. That you get for sensor locking me. Would love to see pilots eject and reactors go boom. Uh, eject is good, but reactors go boom. No, not so much. They're fusions. So they don't really blow up. And link it for you to see. Of course you can. What are we talking about, Matchow? 
Oh, the, the more, yeah, go for it, man, child. Shut off, getting rocked. I'm doomed. Doomed. <laughs> she says she's... I'm not, I'm just not getting the hits. Commander? Yeah, and that's the love of Battletech. That's the way it works. Acknowledged. I click on the right. Yes, oh, I did click. Error. See that it says. I can tell you what the call shot is. Okay, I'm sorry, Commando, for a second game in a row. Engaging with target. There's no way you're dead dodging 30 missiles. Down. You thought mechs exploded when the reactors breached? No. They're fusions. Fusion reactors don't really explode. There are other parts of the mech that could explode, like ammo and that kind of fun stuff, but the reactors themselves would probably... It, I believe it takes quite a bit for a fusion reaction to explode. As in, I'm not even sure it's possible. Because even nuclear reac reactors technically don't explode. They just get really, really hot. That something and I think fusion reactors would be the same deal. They wouldn't actually explode themselves. They might cause other stuff to explode, or, uh, explode around them, but they would actually never really explode. Because that's just... Waiting for orders. They're not bombs. <laughs> that's, everybody makes a connection that, well, nuclear bombs explode, but the difference is reactors are not bombs. So they're, they're not really designed to explode, so they probably wouldn't. You know, they melt down, but they don't explode. There's a difference. Okay, so we don't see anything now. Ten four. Yes, yes, in one of the books, there is what they call the, uh, what, Stackpole? Because Stackpole, Michael Stackpole is the one who wrote the, the novel. He's the one who wrote it in. Where there's a, there's a tactic that, I forget who the pilot was. But he basically goes into, he's surrounded by a bunch of clan mechs, and he sets his reactor to explode. Or something like that. Something like which, in the, the fusion reactions, they wouldn't, they wouldn't do that. <laughs> so that's why when you, when you hear somebody, they stack pulled it. That's what it is. Mech is going critical and taking with them city blocks worth of areas. Thing, Arthur Mech. Yeah, there we go. Stack pull. Yep, that's it. Right here. So my poor Shadowhawk is getting toastified here. No AC5 and a medium is missing. His only hope is to not jump away because apparently he's lost jump jets too. <sighs> Oops. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. We can still do this. I'll try. More importantly, does he knock him down? No. Damn it. Damn it. I was hoping that was going to knock him down. So Centurion's still really beat up, but he's got an LRM 10 and two mediums. And another jet jet goes bye bye. And I'm dead. Hey Kevlar. And civil nuclear material doesn't have enough density to detonate. Yep, see? It it requires a special process to make those nuclear materials to be explosive. I'm here. I know that. That's what the whole big deal of not letting certain countries get certain types of technologies. Roger. 
Oh, got a head hit. It's actually not the mech hey. I wanted. It's actually not the mech I wanted to shoot, by the way. I, w oh. I wanted to go after the Centurion, but I got too eager. I saw the high percentages of hitting the Orion, I just clicked, sure, fire. <laughs> not paying attention to the mech I was shooting at. <laughs> hey, Givlar. Uh... I'm being flanked. Ow. I'm falling. Ah, I'm hit. Oh, and that killed the pilot. I think. Did I kill no, I think you're still there. Oh, okay. I thought she was dead. So he just she just got bumped down. Okay, that's it. I'm here. You should have been dead. <laughs> should have been dead. <laughs> yeah, should have been. Fotech is saying <laughs> the AI has improved dramatically since last he played. Because <laughs> he's watching this game. <laughs> he doesn't. I don't think he realizes I'm actually playing a person. <laughs> I think that's a compliment, by the way, Hobo. Uh, oh, never mind. He he says he knows. He was just trying to solo against him. That's okay. Yes, they improved the AI. The AI has supposedly been improved. Although, the one game I played against it, I don't think it was that significantly different. Not to me, at least. It didn't seem like it was. It didn't seem to do anything special. And now you're going to stomp on my poor little Shadowhawk, and... Yeah. Or not. I need to stomp him. Oh, you're doing a called shot. Ah. Fight maybe another day. Oh, you're doing multi target. Uh, oh, you were counting on killing a Shadowhawk and then hopefully getting some extra damage, and that's what was going on there. That did work. Uh, buckshot isn't. Buckshot should have moved. Oh, because. Ready for order. Never mind. Standing by. Chance. Let's make it happen. So this is focus. This is a one. This is a buff. Basically, going to have a 95% chance to hit with all weapons, and it ignores the cover, evasion, whatever. So it's going to take full damage from this. And this again, this is just a one-time deal until your fury builds up again. Ow. That kind of went as planned. So now Buckshot's gonna die more than likely. 
Apparently, Mr. Hunchy and Centurion's turn. Yeah, there's no way this this there's no way the Shadowhawk makes up through this. <laughs> Fotech used to be he used to be able to decide exactly when and how to win each game at any given turn. And now I have to struggle not to have to four wiped with my mech. We lost one of ours. Oh my God, that's the way it should be, right? Playing against an AI. Hey, is an Welcome to the stream. Are you in the HPS Battletech unofficial Discord? No, actually, on my own Discord. Orders. Oh, the is still there. Confirmed. Confirmed. Ow. I heard a little. My heat sinks can't take much more. Hey, Icarus above, welcome to the stream. Yeah, I've been using my own server, um, simply because it's easier, it's more controllable, that kind of stuff. And I've only really been playing against viewers anyway. I don't play the game really off stream too much. I mean, if I do, it's usually against the AI just to practice stuff or to see what's working or what's not. <laughs> Even though that's kind of rare. I got my got my fill of uh, games against the AI before multiplayer came out. Yeah, everyone, you, everybody can have their own uh, Discord. Just type in exclamation point Discord Votech and just let me know that you do because I do have to give you uh, permissions for stuff. I'm receiving you. So now you should have lost ammo there, right? Should have. Should have. Tactical retreat? Oh, there's no retreating in this game. Fight to the end. <laughs> that is true, Mad Child. It, the thing is, is, I do have, I do know about the server, and I am, I am on it, but I'm not. I haven't really used it because I just haven't had a need to. I mean, if that's where you're supposed to be going if you're looking for games, I think that's the easiest place to go, at least. And when I have uh, my viewers playing against me, it's just easier to use my own Discord because a lot of them are already set up, that kind of stuff. So. No data. No. I'll copy. I am running into a slight problem here. Don't have unlimited ammo. I don't know why I'm doing this other than <laughs> I don't have really anything else to do. Somebody's about to taste the bitter ashes of defeat soon? Maybe. Maybe. Then the game's not over yet. I mean, his his hunchy's getting beat, pretty beat up. The question is, how much ammo does he have left since he's left lost his left torso? His centurion's really beat up, and the Orion is not in the best of shape either. It's really going to be coming down to... Uh, a little bit of luck on either side. And some okay positioning, I'm gonna guess. 
See, like right now, he can't see my trap. He doesn't have any mechs that can see my trap. So he's going to be focusing on the Centurion. I think. I don't think he can see my trap. You can't see my trebuchet, right? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can. I don't think no you have. Comment. Yeah, I don't think you have line of sight on him. So. Yay! Go shield on for the Centurion. Can't take much more of that. Yes, Commander. So once again, so he, like I said, I can see his Centurion, or not just his Hunchy and his Orion. The Orion is. He's got a fair amount of armor still. His arms are ready to go, but there's only medium lasers, I think, in the, in the arms anyway. Oh, an SRM-4 is in the left arm. And the right arm, too. Okay, so losing the arms would be good, because that limit takes out his SRM-4s and two medium later, lasers, leaving him with AC-10 of 15. So, Ooh, decisions now. Well, the question is, is how much ammo does his hunchy have left? Because... I believe there's at least one ton of ammo for the AC-20 in the left torso. Oh, two tons, which are gone, now gone. So the question is, where's his other ammo? If he has any left. Shouldn't be any in the arms. So his AC-20 is out of ammo. Nope. He's got no ammo. His AC-20 is dead. So he's down to a medium and a small on the hunchy. That's helpful. That's very, very helpful. <laughs> <laughs> as long as I'm reading that all correctly there, because there's no ammo in the head. There's a small laser. There's no ammo in the right torso that I can see. So unless the, the gun is considered loaded, I don't think it is. So there's no other ammo on this thing. It was all in his left torso. So he's got no ammo. That's a good thing. All right. But even without ammo, mechs are still dam damaging or dangerous because of melee. <laughs> so you still want to keep distance. You don't want to. You don't want to get up in their face if you don't have to. So maybe go kill a more dangerous target. Well, like I said, I don't want to, in order to shoot that Orion, I would have had to have stayed right there, which puts me in range of melee for him. Hunchies are doing like 80, something like 70, 80 points of damage with a melee attack. I don't want to get hit by that. I mean, 20s are, you know, like 100, but melee is not that much better or worse. So we really don't want to uh, be in that kind of position. So I want to keep my distance from the Hunchie. And I will give up the shots on the Orion at the moment for that. Ready for orders. Shots. So we don't want to do that. Because I still have to kill the Hunchy no matter what. This Hunchy still has to die. Position confirmed. Sure, pick on the ugly eyes. So, and Trebuchet is 50 tons, just like the Hunchy. So the Hunchy is probably doing around 65 melee as well. So that's why we don't want to get too close. It's nothing to sneeze at. Somehow, all those missiles went for the left torso. <laughs> I don't know why they hit the left torso so much. Oh. Yeah, some mechs do over 100. The assaults do. The assaults hit for usually for about a minimum of 100. The Atlas, I think, does for like 120, 140, something like something crazy. How does he melee? He headbutts and shoulder blocks. Oh, damn it. 
Now is Orion's turn. See, and right now I have his hunchy a little isolated. His only th I mean, he can hit me with the with lerms, but there's no direct fire right now from the, the Orion or the Centurion. Which means less chance to hit. As you can see. Plus he's standing this field of crystals or minerals, whatever you're going to call it, it makes him harder to hit. It also makes it harder for him to hit stuff as well as, as long as he's on there. So. Waiting for plans. Order. Nothing but plans. See, now if I wanted to, I can go melee him and kill him, more than likely. If I got lucky with a CT hit, but we're not going to do that, because we're not dumb. Because the Orion's right there. Coordinates received. Spin oh. kick, yes, a spin kick. You're just no fun. Yeah. Oh, yes, and Hurricane is correct. Mechs are the same weight, do different damage. It's because, yeah, as you can see, the Centurion here is actually doing five more points of damage than the Trap. Trap does 65. This one's doing 70. I don't know what the hunch. I don't remember what the hunchies do. I'm get, it's going to be somewhere 60 to 70, so it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to get stay close, just so you know. I'm not staying close. I hear you. Acknowledged. Dead hunchy. Dead hunchy. Dead hunchy. Woohoo! Now we're even. Sorta. Of. <laughs> now we're sorta of even. He still has the Orion running around that's still got a fair amount of ammo or armor. I don't know what his ammo situation's like, but he still has, I believe, LRMs and AC ten and SRMs in the medium still. Unless I can get lucky with blowing his arms off. This is still not even close to being over. For him at least. Hunchy should be 80. Hunchy shouldn't be that high. Battle fist quirk. <laughs> Incoming message. And Icarus above, thank you for the follow. So now, I said, can he see me? Nope, he can't see me. So, oh, he's sensor locked to me though. Which means he's going to put LRMs from the, from the Orion on me. I'm here. Standing by. Oh, this is weird. Oh, because we're in the... Commander? I forget the way that things work here. See, I can't see him either, and I have to move into position in order to target... That's gonna happen. Oh, that would work. You did it wrong. Nope, don't do it. This is how you do it. <laughs> Warg. Please excuse me. That Veronica was embarrassing. Is being, uh, I meant to say. Misinterpreting my words again. Roger. There are no AMSs in this uh, particular time frame. Why are you hiding the tree? Why am I hiding in a tree? Because the trees are safer than out in the open? <laughs> I st you still have the armor advantage, so... Spot over here. I've seen you. 
Oh well. Yeah. It's not giving you that spot. Yeah, I don't know why. See, the Centurion is still a pain with that LRM-10 back there. He's legged, so he's not going to ever catch me, but the LRM-10 is still a little bit of damage. It's still a pain, especially for my poor Centurion here. Which I think is the LRM is in the left torso there. Be careful what you wish for, Jeff. Get. Oh, you did get the captain. Oh, so lucky, Jeff. So, so lucky. Standing by. that aren't oh. there. <laughs> I got robbed. I got robbed of damage. Shooting locations that aren't there anymore. So here's Mr. Orion. What's he going to do? He could walk around the corner here. Shoot. Oops. Oh, I did a boo-boo. Uh, well, I thought that was the move you're gonna make anyway. But you'd sprinted, right? Uh, no. Double click. Double clicked on me. Ah. Uh. Okay. Damn it. Standing by. that are gone, transfer damage and arm, side torso, side torso, right, but it didn't seem to do that much, that's the thing, as much, as much as I hit him, it didn't really seem like it did that. Let's hit him hard! Probably won't, but hopefully this will work out the way I want it to. But I have a feeling it won't. Multiple enemies locked in. Or maybe I just get lucky. Not as lucky as I wanted, though. Ugh. Just barely didn't kill the Centurion with the Lerm. Just barely didn't kill him. No, don't run away. <sighs> okay, sorry, limp away. Commander, I'm hit. Oh, of course, Centurion's getting abused. 
I'm here. Confirmed. It's good, it's good. Engaging target. Take an arm, take an arm, take an arm. Nope. Nope. <sighs> that, that, <laughs> as many hits as I mean that wasn't a ton of damage, but as many as that was, that arm should have went, you would have thought. Uh Potentially hurt a lot, maybe. But we're standing in crystal or mineral, whatever. So he's got a hit penalty. I think I'm in the. Am I not in the crystals? I thought I was. I didn't go far enough. I thought I was in the minerals. Ah, uh, stability lost. To pay better attention to that. Oh well. Oh, that hurts. There. Hey, if it makes you feel any better, I'm out of little arms. No. <laughs> <laughs> but it should make you feel better. Mr. Whippy Trebuchet hides in the back. That's what his job is. Says the centurion hiding behind the rock, by the way. Well, yeah, because he's already got one leg, <laughs> one arm. electric when you're what? Eh, not quite what I wanted, but okay. Your mech kind of goes electric when you're in the crystals. Oh, does it? Well, it's kind of hard to tell with that one because he's on fire, basically, but... But I know he's in the crystals for sure. But is he gonna kill my poor little centurion with his lerms and his lasers? <sighs> I had hopes for this game. I had hopes for this game. You could still win. Eh, uh, not likely. The the trebuchet's got crap for heat sinks. My, my guys are pretty beat up. Yeah, Orion isn't that beat up. He's still got armor on the CT and his back is fresh. Yeah, it's... No. It's, there's not really any real chance for me to win this at this point. Maybe. <laughs> my my hope is to for you to run out of ammo, but I don't think you will. Although that helped. Yeah. Didn't even touch him. So that helped. That's what I said. <sighs> oh, now it's my turn. Commander. Locking on target. Yay! Okay. Now I have a chance. Not a good chance, but I have a chance. <laughs> I have a chance. Because that's, uh, what, two mediums and an LRM you don't have anymore. But this guy is still in good shape. For the most part. Except I wish his right torso was gone. But 
He's still gonna have all that ammo though. And he's warm. He's just as warm as I am. Ready for orders. Again, I'm just hoping here to strip weapons off. Just like that. He just lost a, hit. a lot. Did you that was an ammo explosion too, wasn't it? Yes it was. Yes it was. No CT armor for him. Yay. Okay, so I got lucky. Lucky. Reminds you of our last match, Tarkus? Yeah, a little bit. But <laughs> the difference is the sizes have been flipped. <laughs> Hobo's got the larger mech here in the advantage still. Even though he's hurting, he still has an advantage. I'm here. Actually, it does help me because he's in the crystals. This does help. So, focusing. So, I'm getting 95% chance to hit with all three mediums, and I'm not going to overheat. It's going to be really hot still, but if I get really lucky, these all go CT. But they're not going to. They're going to hit his right leg and his right torso. I'm calling it. Okay. So, it hit parts that really aren't there. Instead, just as bad. With the armor I have, I have the advantage. As long as he doesn't come near me and try to melee, which he's got a long way, because luckily Orions don't have jump jets, so he can't just jump up here and pound me. So that's really saving me a lot. Uh. These crystal fields are saving my ass. Just want to say that. <laughs> they are saving my butt. For those of you who don't know, these these mineral fields, the, the blue stuff on here, as long as you're standing in here, you have plus four to your defense. So you're harder to hit, but you also have plus two to, or anybody you're firing at has plus two to their defense as well, as long as you're standing in the crystals. So it's a it's a give and take there. You're, you're taking more defense, sacrificing your offense. In this case, it's working in my favor. Standing by. Because I had that focus shot that really helped. If I survive, I can play it just a little bit different. Yeah. Attacking from position. Fingers crossed. Yes. So lucky. <laughs> so damn lucky. Good game. Good game, Hobo. Good game. I, I had a lot of luck there, just so you know. I had a lot of luck. Oh, oh that worked. You won. Oh, yeah. Fair and square. Fair and square. Yeah, I know. I did. And finally, you know, got our connection issues there resolved, it looks like. Ah. Uh. So with both in the crystals, you each get minus six. I don't know how that works. I don't know how that works. I don't really know. So as far as salvage goes, ugh. 
I'm not going to walk away. I'm going to walk away with one functional mech, it looked like. And salvage, nothing there really. Maybe got... No, I'm not gonna, I think if you get... If a mech loses at CT, it, it can't be salvaged. We don't know the rules yet, but I have a feeling that's what it's going to be. So that was a very vicious fight. Alright, Gimpy, I got called out. I got to get something done. Okay, no problem. Thank you, Hobo. Appreciate it very much. Well, appreciate the game. It was fun. Yep, it was. It's good. I like winning. It's it's strange. Yeah. It's strange when I win. <laughs> Actually, that's uh, technically... That's two wins in a row for me. Because the last game I played on Wednesday was a win against Tarkus. So that's two wins in a row for me. I'm on a comeback. You're on a roll. <laughs> I'm on All a right. roll. I got two wins under my belt in a row. Of course, I'm still 3-8 uh, and eight in tournament play, but that's besides the point. All right. Okay. Well, good luck in your other games. I got to go. Okay. See you later. Yep. Okay, Tarkus, I know you want to be next, right?